Hello Cancer, welcome to Truth Well Told Tarot. This is Andrea and I'm here to do your 2022 yearly tarot reading for the sign of Cancer, Sun, Moon Rising and Venus. So I hope you're well Cancer, let's get straight into your reading and pull your cards. So what do we have for our lovely Cancerians please? Message for Cancer. Remember Cancer, these readings won't resonate with everybody so just take what resonates with you as always. I'm going to pull one card per month and see what the overarching energies are for you for the year. Message for Cancer please, message for Cancer. So we start, Nine of Wands is January, February is the Two of Cups. March, we have the World, very nice. The Fool, Right next to the world card, this can be completions and new beginnings. Four of pentacles is May time, so the full is April, we have May for the four of pentacles. King of cups can be your energy, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, male or female energy, With the, that's for June. Uh, July we have the ace of swords. August, the Knight of Swords. Queen of Pentacles, coming out a lot in the readings at the moment for the year. Uh, we have that for September. The Moon, October. The Strength card is November. And December we finish with the Nine of Pentacles, very nice energy. Okay, Cancer, so let's see what we have for you. So we start with the Nine of Wands. So Nine of Wands is an energy of you've come so far. You've amassed Nine Wands. This isn't necessarily an easy journey. However, you're one step away from completion. This is a Nine with completion being a Ten. So there's certainly an energy here, Cancer, of one final push one final step to go. I mean, that could be in the form of anything. It could be something practical that needs to happen in order to bring completion to a situation that hasn't been quite easy. Uh, it is an energy that has tested you in some way. However, that test is, is nearly over. So the message is keep on persevering. Even though you don't see the end in sight and you don't always see the end in sight with the Nine of Wands, there's an energy that it's darkest before the dawn and you are one final step away before completion of something and it's successful completion. So it feels really, really hopeful in the energy. The Two of Cups. So the Two of Cups can be a bond between two people. Uh, it might well be a newly established friendship, a new, newly established love connection sometimes can be reconnecting with family as well or a connection with family so very empowered you know certainly in terms of love there's a lot of attraction there's a deep connected knowingness about each other you don't have to say anything and you just know each other it's two souls that recognize each other um so yeah it is a beautiful beautiful energy i mean this can also be in the form of some kind of offer or an or invitation from a like-minded soul so again if this is to do with something completing it might well be there's some offer or invitation on the table maybe some agreement here that's happening for some of you as well and that's part of this final push these two they don't necessarily relate to each other but they can do so we have the world card in March, this is a successful completion energy. Um, somebody has overcome the tests, the challenges, and has evolved and grown as a result of what they've been through to claim some significant win, victory, success here. This it can be an energy of a goal achievement where you are stepping through to a new phase of your life and it's the step up. You're stepping up. You're evolving in some way. <clears throat> so very good victorious energy. Can be a successful completion, successful outcome energy too. 
April, we have a brand new beginning here, Cancer. So the fool energy, carving out your own path. Taking a chance or taking the leap of faith in a new direction for some of you and just blindly trusting. That's what the fool does. He's open. He has the universe shining on his back, lighting the path before him. So there's just an energy of take the chance, take that leap of faith. Someone moving in a new direction, a powerful new chapter, new beginning energy. And it really is beautiful. There's no baggage here. There's just positive energy. The fool on the carriage, the knapsack, you can see there, the tiny knapsack. So he's, it's very light. It's very fresh. Um, it's very uplifting, the fool energy. <clears throat> I'm full of anticipation of a new start. For some of you, this could be new start or next level energy in some way. <clears throat> okay. May time we have the Four of Pentacles. So Cancer, this can sometimes be an energy of just being careful. I mean, that could be careful in terms of how you're moving forward. So it might well be for some of you, you're being guarded in some way. You know, this person guards the pentacle over the heart, the head, the feet. So they don't move forward very quickly. They're very guarded with the heart. They're very guarded with the head. I just feel in this energy, some of you might just need to be a little bit guarded for whatever reason. Now, this can also be about being careful with money as well. So again, for some of you, there could be a reason to just be a little bit careful financially or money wise. Uh, but there's certainly an energy here of generally this is just self-preservation, self-protection. And the message with the Four of Pentacles is whatever history this person has been through, history has taught them to be careful. So it might well be that you're just encountering something where you just think, I'm just going to be a bit careful with my money this month. And, you know, and it can be that kind of energy. I'm just going to move into this, this cautiously. You know, it can be just that kind of uh, message. King of Cups, six. So this is uh, month six, so it's June time. Um, King of Cups, male or female energy. I feel this is you, Cancer. So any, I mean, he's a, the, cup, the kings are signs of success. Any issues that you have faced, you are rising above them. You know, there is certainly an energy here of rising above troubles, rising above emotional situations and understanding how to bring balance could be back into the heart back into um, heart related situations I mean the king of cups can also be somebody in your life maybe a fellow water sign who is very caring compassionate a people person so very good in business for that reason also very good as a parent um, somebody who might be giving you some advice or care or uh, support this month um, but again as an energy this is somebody who understands how to rise above situations um, and and just be above that you know to remain that balance you know so um, it is that combination of head and heart with the king of cups you know using your head and your heart very clear very cleverly to achieve this kind of balance equilibrium so again, you might just be experiencing a situation where that's required. Again, the King of Cups can offer the cup as well. So offer some kind of opportunity, generally something connected to the heart. So love, like I said, support, compassion, call it what you will. The Ace of Swords in July. This is beautiful energy. This is a, a God-given new beginning. Um, it can be an energy of breakthroughs, so some kind of breakthrough coming your way, and it links to victory and success. Um, also very good in terms of truth, clarity, epiphanies, big ideas coming to you this month as well. So seeing things for what they are. But I'm feeling certainly with the Knight of Swords next to this, it might well be this new beginning is opening up because there might be some communication or news coming your way. Maybe these two are interlinked for some of you, not necessarily, but again, it might well be some kind of breakthrough is coming your way by getting some knowledge or information or 
some communication happening here. So we do have the Knight of Swords in August time. Again, good in terms of information, communication, conversations. And it generally is that which brings change. Change and forward movement and direction and clarity. So again, lots of clarity coming through uh, for some of you. Yeah. Queen of Pentacles, coming out a lot in the readings this, this year. So um, Queen of Pentacles as an energy is very grounded, very stable and secure. She's a very abundant energy as well. So very good in terms of a sign of material success. Could be that you're meeting a Queen of Pentacles. She might offer you an opportunity. Also can be somebody who might be being generous to you in some way. So generous with money or generous with advice or support in some way. If this is your energy, again, male or female with the Queen of Pentacles, but if this is your energy cancer, this is about staying focused, being grounded and practical and patient. You have all the practical skills and resources that you need, but there's patience and um, a slow but steady and methodical energy that's needed. Some of you might be starting to put some plans into action. Things like lead time schedules or um, putting some kind of schedule in place. You know, it can be that kind of thing. She's also very good in terms of nurturing. So good in terms of health areas, uh, a good sign in terms of nurturing back to health. She's a good sign of health. Um, or doing some kind of health regime in some way. The moon, your ruler, is in October. So you are in your power. You are in your power. And the power that's coming to you the most is your intuition this month. Because the moon is sometimes when we don't see things very clearly. But because you're ruled by the moon, this is where certainly any new moon or full moon energy as well you will just be very empowered. Your psychic and intuitive abilities will be especially strong. And that's what the cards are saying. You know, the moon is also a card of hidden blessings, even though we don't see the big picture sometimes. And it might all be for some of you, you're just being methodical. You're planning one day at a time. The universe has that plan, a plan yet to be revealed. And the message with the moon is, all, all will become clear. You know, the divine plan will become clear. This is a card of hidden blessings. You don't see the big picture, but the universe does. So very powerful energy there. So it sometimes can be when we're not really clear in terms of how something's going to unfold or what's going to happen or there's uncertainty or doubt in some way. The message is listen to your intuition and what your intuition is saying. Um, but also this energy of blind trust, blind faith in that. Strength card, Cancer. So the strength card is a card of Leo. Uh, very powerful energy, the strength card. It is when we connect to our inner strength, our inner power. And when do we need that? It's generally when we need to face some kind of either fear or doubt or challenge. This is an energy of believing that you're strong enough to overcome anything that stands in your way, you know, to rise to the challenge of the occasion and overcome it. There can be quite a persuasive energy in that too. So you might be being very, very persuasive this month, bending people to your will. Uh, I certainly see that because we do have the nine of pentacles in December. So anything to do with money, career, finances, this can be an energy of just, you know, understanding how to um, get what you want by having that persuasion, you know, persuasive skills. The Nine of Pentacles is a really abundant energy. Uh, it is an energy of material success, abundance, um, self-sufficiency as well. So for those of you who own your own business or might be starting a sideline business, you might be starting some kind of sideline business this year, this is an energy of standing in your own success and abundance, whether you've got a another job as well or not. There's certainly an energy of material success here. Um, 
Sometimes it's the card of the entrepreneur. Not all the, not always. It can be where you're paid, what you're worth, and what you do, and what 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 you, what you bring to the party. You know, a company. So this can be somebody standing in their own success, abundance, material success. It's very very beautiful. So Cancer, it just really does seem to be very positive this year. Definitely some communication. I like the Pentacles energy as well. Um, very grounded and stable and secure energy. But I, I also feel for some of you that there is definitely an energy of some, certainly around this time, of evolving in some way. Your, your, your path evolving in some way. And it's in a big way. And it's a big and beautiful way. So, yeah, that's what I have for you. I hope you enjoyed the reading. If you did, please do like, share and subscribe and I will see you next time. Thank you.